Making my coffee. Eight. Watch over that drawer, please. There we go. You guys look so cute. Okay, one's going that way, one's going that way. And then the other thing I'm gonna get to as well, I have some PR packages. I have a Sephora haul. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy Makeup Monday. I am in the beauty room right now and I was just going through all of my makeup and I was thinking, why don't I do a makeup collection video vlog for you guys today? Because I told you, I think in my last, last vlog that I was planning on kind of reorganizing my makeup and just kind of decluttering, going through everything, but I wanted to share with you what I actually have first. So that's what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna also make a coffee, go see the girlies, they're about to have lunch. And yeah, that's basically gonna be today's vlog. And if you missed my last video, I actually had so much fun doing it. It was like a sit down and telling you guys my best and worst luxury purchases. So I had a lot of fun doing that. If you guys haven't watched it, I'll leave a link down below, as well as all of our home series and our big build going on right now. So if you guys have not yet subscribed to my channel make sure to do that right now and i'm just gonna roll right into this vlog also before i go make my coffee i thought i would share with you guys if you missed it my brushes finally launched these are the gold and gray brushes right here so i know i've been talking about these in so many of my videos and i'm holding a cotton candy brush as well right there but uh, you know which brushes i'm talking about i've been talking about them for a long time now so they're finally up in the store if you want to check it out i'll leave a link down below and I, oh, I'm so happy about those. I actually launched them on Valentine's Day and so many of you got them and I'm so happy because it's just such a beautiful and luxe set that I did. And I'm really, really blown away with the quality as well. So the bristles are so soft on this set. So if you haven't tried them, definitely check them out. I will leave a link, like I said, and yeah, mommy, mama bear needs a coffee. And then the other thing I'm gonna get to as well, I have some PR packages. I have a Sephora haul in this video. So lots of good stuff, but I feel like it's all makeup. It is all makeup today. We're gonna go through a lot of makeup in my drawers and I'm gonna do the best I can at showing you what I have in my collection. It's not gonna be like a swatch video, but I'll show you the products that I have and get into some PR. Making my coffee. Eight. Watch over that drawer, please. There we go. Boss lady. Coffee and baby girls. Oh, where are you going now? Are you waiting for your sister? Show me your sweater. Let's see, Mia. Wow, beautiful. Beautiful. You look so cute. Do you want your baby? Mommy just bought you a second one because you guys kept fighting over the baby. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so now it's time for Mommy to have some lunch. We're going to take you guys out to the cafe. You love going there, huh? <laughs> you guys look so cute. Okay, one's going that way, one's going that way. Hi, Max. Okay, where's your sister? There she is. There she is. Oh, yep, in the drawers. Sophia, you know if this was mommy's makeup drawers, you'd be doing the same thing. You get into all my makeup, don't you? Oh my goodness, you, Missy. Mommy can't leave her eyes off of you for two seconds. I don't need any tea, thank you though. You guys were just this crazy yesterday, you know that? With mommy's makeup. <laughs> Look at this. Oh my goodness, mommy is in trouble. It is so funny though because the only thing that they're really, really gentle with is my makeup brushes. So when they were playing yesterday uh, for our Valentine's Day photo shoot, they were just like going like this with the brushes and putting it on their face and they're just so cute with it, but everything else they're just like destroy. Right, you two? <laughs> At least you're gentle with mommy's makeup brushes. I appreciate it. Good morning, you guys. So I just thought I would vlog this morning 
just hopped out of the shower and today is the day before Valentine's Day so I'm just trying to get everything ready uh, for my Instagram posts for the sale. I've got my phone out right now, but yeah, just gonna be taking some photos of the new brushes And of course I wanted to use me and Sophia's little setup because we took photos with the girls yesterday and it was so so cute and I always feel like whenever I have a promotion it just life gets a little busy but yeah, lots to do this morning, take some shots, take some photos, and I've already seen so many people posting the new Golden Grey set, so I'm so excited about that. And I got gold balloons too, so it could kind of match the, the theme of the new launch. Okay, so I thought I would start off with a little Sephora haul. It just came in the mail, and I basically had to replenish a few things, and then I used up a lot of my points because I've had so many points for a long time, so I actually got like a makeup brush holder, so I'm gonna take that out in a minute. So I actually haven't tried any products from Drunk Elephant, but I've heard really good things and I got the Sea Tango Multivitamin Eye Cream and I'm just really excited. The packaging is so cute. This is what the bottle looks like right here and basically I've just been wanting to try different eye creams, different eye serums to see what really works, but I'm using Fresh right now, but I definitely am gonna dig into this really soon because I'm getting low. If there are any other Drunk Elephant products you think I should try out, definitely let me know in the comments. All right, so the other thing, I actually just said this on my Instagram, Instagram the other day, but I got the PR package of this and it is the Tatcha lip scrub that just came out or sorry lip mask and It smells like peaches. It is so beautiful the packaging I'm like obsessed with it and it's a peach seed jelly So I'm really excited to try this out I'm gonna use this one as a giveaway so I will have one coming soon and then I also just have like little perfumes that I got and then a little lipstick from Bobbi Brown and these ones are fragrances. So I also got this which is the Peaches Little 500 set. I was really excited because I love the powder that it comes with and then it also came with the primer, a lipstick, and then Better Than Sex which is my favorite mascara. Okay so I've never got something like this from the Sephora points but they actually had a makeup brush holder and I just thought that it was so cool to get this from my points because I usually just get like small samples and stuff like this. Wow, look how cute it is. And it's actually really heavy. So I feel like this would be really nice for the new house. And I can put my makeup brushes in there and it's a nice size. It's actually fairly large. So I can definitely fit a lot of makeup brushes in there. And it's nice that Sephora does that every once in a while because I tend to get very sick of like the same samples and same stuff. I definitely like to try out new things. So. That is my little Sephora haul. And on my makeup vanity, I already have this one right here, which is a nice little lash mug that I have. And then this one, which you can see the size difference. It's actually very big. So I'm really excited to put some of my brushes in there. So cute. I'm really excited that I have like a new little makeup brush holder. So that's what that looks like. And I just thought I would start out with my drawers first to get into the makeup collection portion, which has been so highly recommended and I've been wanting to do it, but I didn't know if I wanted to do it in the new house or if I wanted to do it here. So I just thought I would do it here because I know that I'll be doing like definitely a makeup organization video once I get settled in. So I wanted to do this one first since I do have all my makeup laid out and I feel like it's pretty organized right now. So starting on this side right here, these are all of my Too Faced palettes, except for right here, which is Milani. I have some like Christmas collection ones, which this one here is my favorite. This palette is so beautiful. I really love the sparkly foils that it came with. And I find that I'm using this all the time. Even the crease color uh, is beautiful. And I just love this so, so much. So even though it's a holiday palette, I use it all the time. And it is like a little gingerbread. This one right here, which it all came in the same set with the large one. So I think this is really nice colors. It has a really nice bronzer, blush, and then a highlight as well. So I just love Too Faced so much when they come up with their holiday collections. And then this one here is the big one. So look at that, just so cute. And these are shades that you can really use year round. You don't just have to use them for the holidays, but I just think they do such a good job with their packaging. So obviously Too Faced is one of my favorite brands. And then right here I have all of these that I got in a PR package, which is all of the natural matte, natural eyes, natural face. And I wanted to open them up because I know a lot of you want to see the inside and like what the products look like. I remember I did a makeup collection video years ago and I didn't show all of the products on the inside. So I'm going to try my best to do that today since I do know this is going to be a long video. I think I got the most use out of this one right here, which was more 
like really nice brown tone colors. That's usually what I do on my eyes. This one's really beautiful too. I really like that one. And this one here is like the cheek and face palette. So you have some really nice bronzer colors, a bright pink and some fun highlight colors. So they do such a nice job with their palette. And of course, excuse my nails. I have not got them done yet. So of course I'm doing a makeup collection video. They go this way. So I'm gonna put them back. And then right through the center here, I have the peach. So white peach, sugar peach, and just peachy. I really do like the matte palette they came out with, which is this one. Wow, look how pretty. I feel like this is very spring. And I love the Just Peachy color, that's really pretty. And then right here we have some blushes and bronzers. Really pretty shades. I've probably hardly touched that. I think I've gone into like the blush and that's about it. And then right here we have the last palette, which I have definitely dug into. And then I thought I would show you this one right here. So this is the Milani Soft and Sultry. I honestly love Milani for a drugstore brand. I really love their makeup and the quality of their pigments. So their eyeshadows are awesome. I love this palette. It's a little bit more cool toned and it has some like really pretty grays and browns, taupey colors. And back here, we just have bonbons, which this is a palette I was using like every day for the longest time. I think I bought two. So, and they, this is perfect for Valentine's Day too, which is today that I'm filming this. Uh, but really beautiful shades. This is probably one of my favorite palettes. And I honestly, I don't play around that much with my eyes. I wish I did, but I just tend to really, really like doing like a soft, smoky, like brown neutral tone eye. And I don't get like too crazy with color, but... Uh, there have been really nice palettes that have come out this year. So this one right here is the Pretty Rich. It has a lot more like glitter in it. And I really, really love do, doing like gold eyes. So I really like that color right there. I love this one right here. And I feel like the color palette in this is really beautiful in the packaging. Like, look at that. So it's also in here, one of my favorites. And Becca, that's what that one looks like. And I can't remember when this one came out, but I remember being obsessed with it because I feel like the bronzer color and then uh, the highlight colors are colors that I'd reach for in the summertime. So I just fell in love with it. The packaging's beautiful. So yeah, this drawer is really clean most of the time, which makes me happy. So that is what that looks like. This middle one gets a little messy. As you know, this is where I am the most of my days. So I do have everything here I use. So over here we have the Peach Perfect Foundation. I have so many bottles of it. And then also the No Pores... Uh, touch and sole so that's like a priming water that I got from Ipsy and then yeah three shades here I also have the hangover by Too Faced I have the brow pencil highbrow by Benefit and then I have two of the better than sex mascara which are my favorite by Too Faced Marc Jacobs his eyeliner is so good you guys I have to get another bottle so that is the liquid liner I'm also using the Better Than Sex, which is the Too Faced one. And then also She's Humble, this one right here, Patrick Ta. This is like the nicest nude lip liner. I've been wearing it every single day. So obsessed. And then right here we have a little Tarte blush. So just to show you what that looks like, I use this, I wanna say like every day or almost every day. It's one of my favorite like neutral tone blushes, especially when I'm a little bit more pale and I don't have a lot of color or tan going on, I'll use that. And then this right here is the newest highlighter I've bought. So that is the Tom Ford. It's got two really pretty shades in there. And this is called Sheer Highlighting Duo Reflect, or Reflex Guilt. And then right here we have the Natasha Denona Blush and Glows. These are my favorite, you guys. These are so awesome to travel with. And I know so many of you guys have bought these, which is awesome because I feel like these are just nice little travel sets you can get. And of course I just dug my finger in there. Ugh, but I do that all the time. So this is the one that I use the most because the blush color I really like. This one's a little bit more sparkly, but really pretty. Right here, if you wanna know my favorite bronzer of all time, it would have to be Sun Bunny by Too Faced, which I wanna say I've gone through like eight of these in my entire lifetime because when they came out with it, I'm like, wow, this is my perfect color. So I really do like it. It's like a duo color right here. So that's what the packaging looks like. I have an Anastasia highlighter, I have not used it. It's a little too crazy for me, but I love the packaging. Right here we have a MAC uh, limited edition spring collection. That is what the color looks like right there. It's a little like, a little too warm for me, but I do wear it on occasion, not all the time. I don't use a lot of it. And then right here we have the Too Faced translucent powder. 
Back here, we have the foolproof brow powder. I don't really need to show you that. Um, and I don't use it all that often. I honestly use my pencil more than anything, which is the Brow Wiz by Rihanna. And then right here, we have the Patrick Ta. This is his lip gloss. Look how pretty. I just wanted to show you without my nails because this is just such a beautiful gloss and I put this right on top of the lip pencil. So this is called She's an Influencer. Honestly, if you have not tried his line, I'm actually very, very impressed and I love the packaging, so I keep, I keep going to it. I have a little Givenchy lip gloss, uh, my favorite lipstick, which you already know what this is. This is the uh, Strip Search, so I use that all the time. We have a Chanel face powder right here. We have two of the Fenty Beauty translucent powders, Milani bronzer. Charlotte Tilbury lipstick, and then a Morphe palette. Ooh, let's show you that. Look at that. And this is my very first Morphe palette. So I had to get the one that just had really nice neutral tone colors. And I actually got this on off of Ipsy's website. So really happy to score this and so many pretty shades in here. If you were wondering what this lipstick color looked like, it is called Magic and it's like a really nice nude, but I love Charlotte Tilbury for their packaging. I think they go all out and it's just such nice looks packaging with the rose gold so pretty so way in the back there i also had this milani highlighter which i love milani's products you will find them like everywhere in my room basically and i do love their highlighters and their palettes the most and also their lip colors lip glosses are really beautiful as well i have an orphra highlighter right there that is the madison collection that came out madison miller and then the huda beauty palette which this one is the like bronzy one this one here, some shades in here, I don't think I would ever wear like the bright orange, but they have really nice like golds in here, which I like in the rose gold color. Right back here, this is a palette I use all the time. I wanna say it's one of my favorites and I find myself reaching for it a lot. So these are basically the colors I wear every day. And I've hit pan and this was one of their limited edition collections, of course. From MAC. And then right back there, I just have like a little hourglass mascara, a little lip gloss. I just basically leave like a ton of minis. I also have a Tatcha primer back there, and that is basically it. Just some random lippies. All right, so that was my main drawer, what I get into the very most, and I've been wanting to show that to you. And I've gone through these two. I will go through the third as well. But I thought, and if you're wondering what all this is, <laughs> this is the mess that I have to put away. I also want to show you new packages, PR packages that I have in the mail. I also have to clean up my little Valentine's Day setup that I had here right after this. But uh, I also have my new brushes. They did just launch in my shop if you want to check them out, the gold and gray collection. And then I just have my cotton candy ones right there. So let me show you guys the tray first. I know you've seen these products in so many of my videos. I haven't really changed it, but if you're just wondering what these products are, these are products that I use every day, but I also love the bottles and like how luxe and beautiful these are to display. So I have a lot of Tom Ford, Chanel. Right here I have the face roller that I just got from Sephora and it's actually Sephora brand. And then right here I just have a Chanel powder this translucent one in the middle, I wear all the time the loose powder and it's awesome. You just have to be careful because it's a little bit messy. I also have a little Deptique candle. Back there I have my Coco Mademoiselle lotion. I have a toner that I just got from the beauty box. And then right here we have two of the Tom Ford Soleil Blanc. So I have two sizes. There's the mini and then the large one. And then the Pat McGrath foundation right back here, you guys, is out. I've just kept the bottle to remind myself. And of course I just got Sephora stuff and I completely forgot to buy it. So I'll have to probably go there and pick another one up. And then right here we just have like a little eye foil by Tom Ford, nice gold shade. And then right here we have a lip balm. And then back here, this is that lip gloss that I got from Tom Ford. So these are all of my like high-end brand makeup pieces that I own that I've just kind of wanted to leave out on my makeup tray. And I think it looks really beautiful. Like I love displaying makeup. And then right back here, we also have some of my glosses. So these ones right here are actually the Anastasia set that I got. So they're, I think it came with five. Yeah, these ones right here. So really nice like nude colors. And I'm not sure if she sells them like on their own, but it came in a set that I got. And then right here we have all of my makeup brushes. So I'm really excited. I have some like new ones in there too. So you can find all of these in my shop. I have a lot of them that I sell in my store. I've done like a few that were exclusive to Ipsy. 
and lots of new ones coming. So I'm really excited. I have some lashes right there, which is from my good friend Tanya. She has her own lash line, so I'll link those down below. And then, yeah, that's basically it. I'll get into these PR packages after. And by the way, I'm not gonna swatch every product that would take me a hundred years to do. If you wanna see that, just let me know. I could do like an actual swatch video of all my products, but for now, I'm just sharing with you what I have in my collection. But right here, I just got these in the mail the other day, which I've been so excited to try out. I've already dug into the highlighting one, the lightest one, but right here, we have the Born This Way Natural Nudes Palette by Too Faced. Look at that. Okay, so this is what that looks like. If you haven't seen this or got your hands on it, like go swatch it in the stores. It is so beautiful. I cannot wait to play with this. And I like all the shades going on over here. I love the golden light and the maple. Oh, such a beautiful palette. I'm really excited to try that out. So I got that in PR. And right here we have four of these face palettes. So I'm really, really excited about these. And right here, if I could open it, there we go. So that one right there is like a really nice warm, warm palette and you can use these like for highlighters probably contour all over the face and just like to warm up your skin really there we go so i just thought i would open up all four i was having a little bit of a struggle there that totally looks like my kind of palette i like that one and then we have like the lighter highlighting ones over here so i mean all their stuff is so highly pigmented i don't even have to worry about it not being up to my standards because i love Too Faced. their products are awesome if you haven't tried them but hopefully you have because I really love Too Faced. It's like one of my favorite brands of all time. Right here we have uh, some Pixie products, which I really love Pixie too. I think they have a great price point. I love the little liquid fairy lights that they came out with. I actually am wearing the rose gold one today. I have a gloss Givenchy powder, NARS Orgasm Blush, another backup of Sun Bunny. Below that I have L'Oreal bronze, please. And right here, Blush Bar. I love this by Benefit. It is their prettiest blush palette I have ever seen. So right here I have Dandelion, which is probably my favorite or my most favorite light pink blush. And then it just has like a bronzer, Hula, which is I think the most well-known bronzer that they came out with and some fun stuff. So I really like that palette. I have two glosses that came in that uh, spring collection with MAC. Right here we have the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. Look how big this thing is, it's huge. And right here we have Hello English Rose. I bought this actually at my local drugstore and it just had a really pretty shade. So I wanted to pick that up and try it out. Behind that we have some things that I've received in Ipsy. So a little Pacifica palette, um, a little blush duo that they had, another Orphra highlighter, full proof brow powder, which I have two of those. And then also Too Faced Shadow Insurance, which is awesome for glitter. And then a little Peach Perfect uh, translucent powder. Laura Sanchez, which is one of my favorite girls. She's a YouTuber. And this is one of her eyeshadows I got in my Ipsy bags. And then right here we have all of like my bomb uh, blushes as well. So that is basically everything that's in here. It's kind of like a little miscellaneous, but I just like leave and like to leave stuff in here that I want to try out and try next. Okay, so I almost forgot. I also have these three little Pat McGrath lipsticks. Like I said, I really like displaying some of my cute little minis and makeup that I have. So I do have those out and then my Kabuki brush over there. So I just like to share everything and show you guys everything that's going on that I have out for decor. Uh, but that is like all of the makeup that I have in my makeup vanity. All of these drawers, I don't have makeup. I have other things. So that is basically everything that I have on my vanity. It's not a crazy amount, but I think it is a, a good amount of makeup for sure. And then the other areas I have makeup, which you already know, are in my acrylic makeup shoe organizers, which I already told you I do not like these. I plan on getting rid of them, but I have a lot of makeup in those and then also in the fronts of my drawers here. So just, there's not like, yeah, it's a, kind of miscellaneous. I have stuff kind of everywhere, but I did categorize some of the stuff I have in the drawers, like this right here, which I will show you because it is makeup still. So right in the front, I have uh, Too Faced makeup. So my four highlighters and then the glosses he came out with and I love these glosses so much. Like look how pretty the caps are. It's just so pink and gold and gorgeous. So 
a lot of different variety here. I do like the champagne color, this one, which is usually the lightest color that I like the most. And then right here, we just have their highlighters, which look like little ring boxes, which is super cute. That's what they look like if you haven't seen them before, but I'm sure you have because they've been everywhere and they've been launched for a while now. So I just like displaying those. Right back here, I just have some backups of bronzers. I have like some of the Stila, Stila highlighters, the jelly highlighters they came out with. I don't use these, but just to show you what those look like. And then I have a lot of brushes back there and that is basically what I have in there. There's not a crazy amount. And then, uh, and I get asked all the time, like, do I use or do I go through all this makeup? No. And a lot of this I've had for a long time, so I definitely have to kind of go through it before we move. And um, I just have a lot of, like, the Marc Jacobs highlighters back here. This is definitely very miscellaneous stuff that I've gotten in my Ipsy bags, like really random stuff. SC nail polish, Tarte. Like, I don't want to go through everything, but just a lot of things that you can probably see that you recognize brands. Uh, we have some Tarte, some Mac, some Too Faced in there. Uh, I just have this really cute little mug right here, which I sometimes use for my makeup brushes or for makeup. So right here we have a Tatcha lip balm that I just have on the top here, which I love Tatcha. They send me stuff regularly, so I just love their products. We have a little lip balm and yeah, that's basically it. In the front right here, I have this really nice acrylic tray and it holds blushes. I do have my Candy Too Faced palette right here, ColourPop palette right behind it, a separate bronzer of the Hula, which I really like, and then some Milani flower blushes, which I have had these for a long time. I have to check the expiry, but right here we have one have of a blot. This is from Soap and Glory. And right here we have some of the Melted Mattes by Too Faced, some lipsticks of Too Faced as well. You can see what the colors look like there. Uh, this was from the Candy Collection. I actually wore this on my wedding day. So it's a highlighting stick. And then we have, I got this during Christmas. So this is the Gingerbread Collection with Too Faced. And then we have like a Jeffree Star Liquid Frost, a nail polish that definitely looks expired. <laughs> And then Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Primer, Josie Moran Highlighting Stick. So body oil, this one right here, Moroccan oil. So yeah, that is everything in this drawer. And like I said, I definitely have to go through everything, but I wanted to give you an overall imagery of what I have. <laughs> Down here, I like to keep some of my hair products. So I have my Function of Beauty, which I love so, so much. That's what I'm using right now. And so are me and Sophia. You can get it unscented and fragrance free. So I really like that. I have some cake products. Right back here, we have some more like shampoo, conditioner, big bottles. We have cake, more leave-in treatments from uh, Function of Beauty. So yeah. Right in this drawer here, this is kind of my miscellaneous, but also I like to keep some of my drugstore in the front. So I just got a package from Maybelline and, well, two packages, but this one is the Nudes of New York. So that is what it looks like. Look how pretty, it has so many gorgeous shades. So I'm really excited to try that out. And then they also sent me some of their Master Chrome Jelly Highlighters, these ones right here. I've not tried these. Let me know in the comments if you have. I definitely love Milani and also Maybelline. They are both two of my favorite like drugstore brands. I have some hard candy. Uh, what else? Just like Randit NYX, L'Oreal, CoverGirl, some stuff I have not opened, mascara, liquid liner. Yeah, that is basically it. Everything. Stuff I have to still try. If there's anything drugstore I should try, let me know. I know there's some stuff that I want to try with Maybelline that they just sent me, like foundation. So back here, I've already done this in like other videos before. So I have my Too Faced chocolate bar. These ones I've had, like these I've had for so long, like Urban Decay, Naked. You guys have seen that. Right here, we have the NYX uh, Away We Glow. Some Pixie palettes, some face masks, Carly Bible right here with BH Cosmetics. There's just, yeah, I feel like this is one of my oldest drawers, so besides the drugstore, but yeah, that is it in there. So right here we have, and by the way, these are just some of my brushes that I've been working on, so I have those right there, but uh, right here we have all of the ColourPop liquid lips that I just got. So I recently got those in the mail. It seemed like a full, big full collection that they came out with. Right here we have a Sephora, 
This is a coconut hand cream that I have, which I should put in my handbag. And then we have some random stuff that I've gotten, like in Ipsy bags. I've also got like NARS Orgasm uh, lip gloss that I bought from Sephora. This is how I organize some of my bronzers and highlighters. So right here we have some of the Too Faced ones. We have the... This is actually one of my favorite palettes. The gingerbread that Too Faced came out with. Like, look how pretty these are. So we have that one. And then if I take that, it's actually going to fall. So just put that back in there. And then this one I think I liked more. Yeah. Ooh, look at that one with the browns and the rose gold colors. So I really like that. That one is the extra spicy. And then right here, I just have all of my Becca highlighters, which I think are basically the ones I've only been buying lately. So this is Champagne Pop. I've hit pan. I've hit pan on a lot of those because they are so beautiful. Right here, I have like all of my minis. So we have Tarte, Becca, which came in a set, and Pixie. But yeah, that is what that looks like. Okay, so this stuff is like unopened that I have in here. So a lot of this is that I, or stuff that I've gotten in Ipsy. I also have some Too Faced like glitter lipsticks that I have not used yet. So I'm not going to go through all of these, but just so you can get an idea of what I have in here. Uh, so yeah, some random, random stuff in here. This is mostly Too Faced, I believe. So they came out with this hangover pillow cream, which I've been wanting to try so badly. So underneath, I have a lot of lipsticks and just backups of Too Faced because they do send me PR. So I have a lot of their stuff. I don't buy a crazy amount of makeup. I also don't get sent a crazy amount of makeup. So a majority of the stuff I have in my drawers I've had for a while besides Too Faced. So right here we have the Wash Away Gentle Cleanser they came out with. So I'm really excited about that. And then underneath here, we just have all of my like highlighters and then blushes. A lot is Too Faced. So right here we have like their peach collection. Uh, those were the little heart ones they came out with in lots of random palettes back there. Hello. Are we having some lunch? Oh yeah, we are. Yum, 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 yum. Hi, Sophia. Eat your veggies, please. Look at your crazy hair, Miss Mia. Yeah, bop, 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 bop. Mm. And then I almost forgot these two packages right here that I wanted to share with you. Uh, so this one right here is from Tatcha. Then the bottom one is from Maybelline. So I actually got this in the other day. It must be like a little Valentine's Day package that they sent out in a really pretty pink box. So that's what it looks like right here. We have the Dream Radiant Liquid Foundation, which I cannot wait to try this out. These are the shades that I got, which I think I will probably most likely be the middle one. And then they also sent a little sleeping mask and it says Sweet Dreams, so cute. And it looks like they have a lot of shades as well with this collection. And then right here, so this is the one where I was telling you that I already just bought one from Sephora. So it is their new lip mask. And they actually sent these really good candies as well with it. So that was really sweet. And this is it right here. So I will leave one for a giveaway coming soon. But I love their PR packages. They're always so fun. And I did eat two of these. They are, are really good. And right here, it is $28 at Sephora. So I am definitely going to use that tonight. And then right in here, I have all of my lippies, which I definitely am going to be getting rid of a lot of my organizers. These won't fit into the built-in makeup vanity that we did in the new house. So I'm thinking of just sticking with, where is it? A lot of these organizers. So the ones that you can pick up from like the dollar store and they work really nice. And I find that they're a nice size. So I'll probably just get those. Oh yeah, here they are. I have a ton of them actually. So probably just ones like these. And then also the thin ones that you can fit like individuals in. I might do that because these are just too big for my space. And I feel like I won't need anything like this since I will be going through and decluttering my makeup as well because I definitely don't need all of this. And I'm assuming these ones are probably expired, which are the Milani glosses I know I've had for quite some time now. Uh, this is the By Algori lip gloss stand, by the way, if you're wondering. And then we have a lot of like the peach Too Faced pixie in the front right here, melted matte. Uh, really random ones that I've got in collections. So I have to go through all these, but I just wanted to kind of show you what I have. A lot of pinks 
And if I get sent full collections like this, there are usually a ton of different shades to choose from. And then the other drawer I forgot to show you. So this one right here, I have all of the Born This Way concealers and then also the Peach Perfect foundations in the back. So this was a PR package I got, which they send you all of the shades and clearly I don't need to use all of them. So that is why I have so many of them. And then in here, I have just all of my bronzers, which also came in a PR set. And then foundations, I have a YSL, Too Faced, uh, some powders back there. And in this one right here, I've got some ColourPop. I have the Perfect 10 by Soap and Glory. I have Manny MUA's palette down there. I have some of the new Too Faced glosses that came out too. I haven't organized this yet. That's why it looks like that. I have some Moroccan Oil, Skin Frost, Jeffree Star back there. I have uh, House of Lashes little makeup palette that I got. This one here, I actually have all of my Too Faced palettes. So I have Boudoir Eyes, Natural Eyes, which this is one of the very first palettes I ever had. And I love it to this day, I still love it. And then I also have Peanut Butter, that one right there, which is a really cute little palette. I really liked the size of these palettes as well. They were really nice to travel with. And a lot smaller, Natural Matte. This one right here, which I really like as well. I think they came out with such nice, beautiful, natural shades. And then right here, the gold chocolate. And then the clover. <laughs> Look at how cute that one is. I really do like that one too. So this one here is a little messy because it is very sparkly and glittery, but really fun shades if you have not seen this palette. And right there we have clover, which is a fun, colorful palette that they came out with. And I love this one. Just so cute, really bold shades. So I didn't get into it that much, but I loved the packaging. Look at that, so adorable. And then back there we have Naked. We have some of the like chocolate chip, the small palettes that they came out with. Uh, but yeah, I have, I wanna say every single Too Faced palette that they've launched. This one right here, I have like a lot of either hair care or cleansers and just like some skincare stuff. So just stuff I haven't used yet, Kate Somerville. Just keep that in there. I don't think I shared this one with you guys yet. So this, I have the balm uh, blushes. I have some really small little mini Too Faced blushes. And then I also have, there's like a Jeffree Star lip gloss, Fenty Beauty highlighter, um, Urban Decay lip gloss, the Glitter Pop by Too Faced below that, Stila, little, uh, these are little liquid eyes that I got. So I got those in a set. And basically, just really miscellaneous. These are really cute, though, the little heart blushes that Too Faced came out with. So I really like those, and I just keep them all together with other little minis I have. So I do like this one the most because you do have a separator, so that is really nice. You can buy these separately if you do plan to do that, and then separate all of your makeup. Okay, so that was today's video and of course I'm so happy to be back here with a vlog and just showing you kind of what's going on right now, but I definitely will be doing a declutter video before the big move because I do have makeup to declutter, uh, but I kind of wanted to just go through everything that I currently have. So I hope you enjoyed today's video and thank you if you recommended this because I was going through comments and so many people did recommend me do this. So I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any other video recommendations, leave it down in the comments down below. And if you have not yet subscribed, make sure to subscribe now before you go and I will see you guys on Fashion Friday. Bye.